Hey, what's up guys? Henry the Blazing here and welcome back to another video. Now, as you can tell by the title of the video, this is a video that you guys have been waiting on for a while. For a while now, I've been hearing HTB, we need to see an updated God Squad. HTB, who are the best players at each position? HTB, blah, 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 blah. Well, today, damn it, I'm here to show it to you. As you can see in front of you today, we have got a blank slate. Now, today, we are going to be building the the best possible the best possible team that you can have in my team right now now I know some of you are wondering HDB you are capping how do you not know that somebody out there has a better team than you well if you read the title correctly guys I have collected every single card that you can collect right now in my team every single card well except for one but that card doesn't really matter i'll tell you about that card in just a second but yes i collected every single card in my team in order for us to build the best possible god squad in this game now before we do continue with the video guys your support is always appreciated so if we could go ahead and aim for a light 3 billion likes that would be greatly appreciated but without further ado let's dive into the game now let me just show you guys how crazy we really collected i can't even back out of this unless oh damn it all right i figured out how to get out of there we're all good but as you guys can see yes we have indeed collected every single card in the game and i know some of you are wondering did you manage to collect the rare rare super ultimate rare card well yes i did indeed manage to get the boy isaac bonga so have no worries we paid only six million mt for him so everything went smoothly he was probably the most expensive series two card and for those of you that haven't realized i'm kidding yet i was kidding but uh, yeah heat checks moments rewards premium cards we have everything even the recent all-star flash packs we've got it all historic uniforms shoes i don't we don't really need shoes but we have them anyways miscellaneous items we've got it all in order for us to build this god squad the only card we are missing and that's because i'm choosing not to collect it is galaxy opal penny hardaway so i'm not capping you can see on the top right we've got a thousand and sixty six tokens i'm choosing not to pick them up because with all the tokens they dropped recently i got a feeling the token market it is about to update again and i'd rather pick up a new card rather than someone who's actually not going to make my team so now that you guys have seen i've collected everything it's time to finally build the best squad possible starting at the point guard position this is without a doubt unanimously number one the best point guard in the game right now and probably for the next little while and that's going to be none other than pink diamond lebron james the glitched one this card is just absolutely broken if you haven't played against him you've been lucky if you played against him i am so sorry and if you have him well you will know exactly what i'm talking about when i say this card is absolutely goaded he's got everything you need a 6-8 point guard with a blow by abilities of a god it is just absolutely ridiculous man at the number two position we've got none other than michael jeffrey jordan some people would think i would actually start vince carter but after i've actually been loving this michael jordan a lot i found that he's actually got better animations i was always wondering why michael jordan might be going for more than vince aside from the hype and i can actually kind of see reasons why i compare them side by side and jordan definitely is better attribute wise the only difference between jordan and vince that you should really worry about is that vince carter is going to have the hall of fame range extender but i'm not too worried about that on my starting lineup because at the number three position we've got someone who is going to get that done and that is going to be none other than the fun guy the board man who gets paid and the very first kia all-star kobe bryant mvp winner Kawhi Leonard this card goes absolutely crazy especially having the Hall of Fame quick draw it honestly just makes him unstoppable card is an absolute glitch probably the best small forward card that you can put at the three right now in my team I cannot think of a better small forward he's got range extender you know this man can clamp he's even got Hall of Fame quick draw as well among 34 Hall of Fame badges in total it's just ridiculous what this card can do and they made him athletic and he's super fast there's literally no weaknesses in this Kawhi leonard i don't know how they're gonna make a galaxy opal better than this because he really is a galaxy opal in a pink diamond wrapper now moving on to the number four position this is someone who i also think is the unanimous power forward in this game would be kind of hard to argue that and that's going to be the brand new Giannis onto the kumpo now if you have the old Giannis, you're still pretty up there as well but this new Giannis, he goes crazy so 
solely for the fact that he's got shooting badges now, including green machine and flexible release. Not only does he just have clamps now, but he's also got dimer, pickpocket, he's got the defensive leader, he's even got Hall of Fame Intimidator, which goes absolutely crazy. So yeah, man, I honestly don't think there is a better power forward out there than Giannis right now in this game, at least this Giannis. He's also got a three-point shoe on him just to top him off. He is an absolute glitch. 26 Hall of Fame badges. This is another card I don't see we get a better version of until Giannis wins MVP. So yeah, this is the starting four so far. And at the five position, this is kind of where it's a little bit flexible. Now for the starting five, people do still see D-Rob as the best center in the game, but currently right now i am going to go with sabonis now i'm not saying sabonis is the best center in the game in fact the arguably best center in the game right now is still going to be d rob and it can still actually be anthony davis but what people don't actually expect is that it can actually be this bam out of bio a diamond card with 26 hall of fame badges he's actually going to go ahead and take a reserve spot right here because he is actually that good it's actually kind of ridiculous where you at bam we'll give you a reserve spot right off the bat before we we even show you guys the bench but Sabonis he's a Galaxy Opal he's one of the rare centers he's a 7-4 center or 7-3 center who's got range extender solid shooting badges is dominant in the post gets boards has Hall of Fame dimer and Hall of Fame deep fades like he really does it all and that Hall of Fame intimidator on him makes shot contests so easy with this card so this is what we got for the starting five lineup and you know what let me drop a rhyme for them are you guys ready quick old town road remix right here all right all right guys are you ready here we go this is actually like my third take at it i'm trying to freestyle this but uh here we go man i got lebron playing the point ask him about to blast jordan at the guard only time he's number two Giannis at the four opponents at the door Sabonis at the five only time my team's alive oh my goodness Kawhi is a fun guy <laughs> Holy shit, he's a fun guy. Okay, yeah, that was that was super cringe. Let me just pretend that never happened. P please don't dislike the video. I was just, dog oh god, just please don't. All right, so now that the super cringy halftime show is done, we can get back to the video. But tell me that wasn't a decent freestyle, though. Except for the fact that I actually called Michael Jordan the GOAT, even though LeBron is my GOAT. But we're not going to get into that argument right now. Let's go off the bench at the point guard position. If you guys don't know who this is, then it's you're, you're lying. You're lying. Because it's going to be Magic Johnson off the bench at the point guard position. That makes my point guards absolute twin towers. There's no way to stop them on the offensive end. And there's not really an easy way to score on these guys at the point point guard position either both of them have hall of fame claps both of them are tall as and they can really do it all i love these guards so much i don't think there's a better guard than either of these two but if you want to argue with that let me know down in the comment section below at the two position off the guard it's someone who could have definitely been a starting uh shooting guard but you know what he's coming off the bench and that's going to be vince carter and the thing about vince carter and michael jordan is so many people try to argue about which card is better but honestly they're so so similar it really just comes down to preference i've been enjoying michael jordan a lot more recently that's the only reason i have him starting i've been starting vince for a while otherwise i love this card like crazy that hall of fame range extender with his release is absolutely nuts and again a card that's got 37 hall of fame badges how do you say no including clamps he's got post offense he's got offense on every aspect except for like a standing dunk like he is an absolute demon i love this card so much at the three off the bench this is a card that some people might think is outdated no it's not going to be brandon roy no it's it's not going to be Ray Allen either. It is actually going to be, where's my boy, T. Maka Laka at the three. I know he's like a primary shooting guard, but he's the best three that I can put right here. There's no other card that I can put at the three position that is going to be playing better than this Tracy McGrady. We got the cousins coming off the bench together, and they are a nasty dynamic duo. Both of them with range extender, both of them with clamps, both with Hall of Fame quick first step. They are lethal, especially when you have Magic Johnson, who doesn't offer as much of an offense just because he doesn't have range extender and like the animations for like a good snatchback shot and stuff it's nice to have these offensive demons right here now at the four we've got a card that's actually pretty recent just did a gameplay on him actually and some people might be surprised but i actually do think he is the second best power forward that you can have in the game right now and that is going to be this aaron gordon now there is arguable points where people think you can just put a bam at the four bam isn't bad but i love the fact that this aaron gordon's got the hall of fame clamps and 
and stuff like that and he just seems more athletic to me but some people would argue that you can put Larry Bird in there I don't mind Larry Bird but the only thing that Larry Bird's got going for him is the Hall of Fame range extender as far as the fadeaways and stuff like that Aaron Gordon does it all for me and I like Aaron Gordon a little bit better just because he's more athletic and he's also got more Hall of Fame badges so for that reason Larry Bird I'm sorry but you are finitoed and then off the bench at the five we talked about this earlier and that's going to be the boy galaxy opal david robinson and that is going to go ahead and put together as the best 10 man lineup in nba 2k20 my team i just don't think that there is a team that is better than it is there teams that can beat this team probably because it comes down to how you play in the end but is there a better team you can assemble on cards based alone on a 10 man lineup i really don't think so this has to be the best 10 man lineup in nba 2k20 my team right now now as far as the last three slots honestly that really comes down to preference i personally play with a 10 man lineup so i don't really use this last three slots much but if i'm looking to use these last three slots one person i'm throwing in there right away is going to be Dwayne wade that is when i want more offense out of my guard and magic johnson just doesn't offer that enough i get Dwayne wade in here one of the glitchiest cards in the game i'm very close to the galaxy opal one again so when i get him be on the lookout for that gameplay i think he's going to be one of the best guards in the game most likely going to replace my magic johnson then you got that lebron Dwayne wade guard connection there and then for this last spot Honestly, this one's such a toss-up, but I'm not really sure who I would throw in there. I know some people would think Brandon Roy, but Brandon Roy isn't really going to be doing anything Vince Carter and Tracy McGrady aren't going to be able to do. So I really don't know who I would actually throw in here because making a 10-man lineup and stuff, it's kind of weird having to think about someone you would actually have to throw for the 13th spot. But one person you guys might not believe that I would actually throw in there would be another big. I would actually throw in either Mark Eaton or I would actually throw in big boy Shaq. Now, what's actually funny about the Shaq is that he is very comparable to the Amethyst one, and people are still paying 100k for this one, but I just like having an athletic center. So, bonus is a great card, don't get me wrong, but if I want someone who's going to be able to clamp and just lock down the paint, I'm either going to get my boy Shaq in here, or I'm going to get my boy Mark Eaton in there. And then when people start to off-ball, that's when you get Sabonis or D-Rob in there, and you really spread the floor. But more than likely, we can throw Bam out of bio in there. We can go ahead and throw Anthony davis in there but everywhere else is basically a lock the only place i would really sub out would be the center position because again it really depends to how the other team plays where you'll depend on what you need your center to do just because the center can play such a big role so yeah bam out of bio this card is definitely better than anthony davis though so let me actually pick who i'm gonna put here so after some thinking i decided i was just gonna keep anthony davis in here because if i need anthony davis for more size on my team i can move anthony davis to the four here i can move Giannis to the the three and just like that we've got a super tall lineup could even throw t-mac in here if we really want some height so this team kind of fits everything for any possible scenario if we want to go small ball sabonis is gone we throw bam out of bio in there and boom just like that we've got a fast offense but uh this right here guys is what i believe to be the best team in nba 2k20 my team specifically talking about the 10 man lineup the only player person you can really replace on this 10 man lineup again is going to be sabonis out of of preference a lot of people are gonna say bam out of bio is the best center in the game right now and that is definitely justified hence why he is on my squad but these last three spots that's really a toss-up for what you need for certain scenarios other than that i do really believe that this is the best squad on my team right now but you guys know i want to know what kind of squads y'all are rocking right now i hope you don't run into me though because it's going to be dangerous but comment down below what your god squads are looking like also comment down below what you would change about this lineup because keep in mind we got every card in the game so if you don't think this is the best team right now what would i have to change in order to make this the absolute best team right now in nba 2k20 my team let me know down below but this is going to conclude it for the video if you guys did enjoy the video don't forget to leave a like and for you new viewers you know you got to hit that subscribe button and join the blazing nation man i want to thank you guys for watching i hope you all have an awesome day and take care